In this video, I will show you how to implement Excel shortcuts in creating charts and dashboard. Now, if you want to create a basic chart in Microsoft Excel, the best way to do that is to go to Insert tab and check off this amazing chart options. Take note that before you can select any of this chart, you need to select two items. You cannot select the entire table this time. You just need to focus on two particular items. Which one do you want to become an axis? And second, which one do you want to display as legend? In this case, let me use family name by highlighting from cell C6 up to cell C26. Holding control button, let me highlight starting salary column. Click on the insert tab. And here you have a very basic bar chart to select with. When you click on that, Excel will display a bar chart. Now, for the shortcut, you can actually highlight the same column, family name, sorry, family name and starting salary. And the shortcut using keyboard is holding the Alt key and press F1. Alt F1 will help you to generate the same set of chart. By default, Excel will always display bar chart. Another shortcut that you can implement while you are highlighting family name and starting salary is by pressing F11 on your keyboard. So select family name, starting salary, pressed F11. Excel will add a page that will display the chart and this is ready for printing. Okay, so that's only F11. If just in case those keys like Alt, F1 and F11 are not working, um, make sure you press the Fn button. If you're using laptop, that's Fn, that's beside the control button. So you do it. Alt, Fn, F1, or Fn, F11. Okay, Excel will do the chart once you select the function key in your keyboard. Okay, however, if you're using desktop, for desktop, you don't need to hold the Fn key anymore. Just type or hold Alt and press F1 or just click on the command button F11. Okay, now, what else do we have? Let's say, for example, um, let me remove the first chart here. Let me have one more chart. Okay, displayed over here. Now, for this chart, by the way, take note that chart is related to Excel table. That means any changes on on the data of your table will reflect on the chart. Common scenarios are, let's say, I want to arrange this chart, let's say, from highest to lowest, or what else? I want to filter this chart based on department. If you want to arrange or filter your data, you don't need to find the control in the chart area. All you need to do is to highlight all the headers, click on the data column or data tab, click on filter, and for the filter, you can use the drop down on the starting salary and click largest to smallest sorting. It will sort your table from largest to smallest. Next, I want to go back to the original state of my data. Let's go back to family name. Click sort A to Z for family name. Now Excel will do that highlight or sort your data from a to Z by family name. I want to filter this based on department. Let me click on department drop down and then just check on admin. Click OK. Excel will also filter the table based on admin department. What else? In some cases, we are required to add more data in the chart area. Let's say I have here starting salary 
And then beside that column, let me type, let's say, incentives. For the incentives, the computation, let's say, the value of incentives is 50% of starting salary. So let me type here H7 multiplied by 50%. And then autofill. Now the question is, how can I add this row data, which is the 50% of the salary as incentives? How can I add that into my chart area? Usually, what we can do, we can right click on the chart and then we can go to change chart type. Okay. Or you can simply right click on the chart and go to select data. We will not use those items. Let me show you another shortcut. All right. If I need to add the data in the chart area, all you need to do is to highlight the incentives column, right click, and then copy. Make sure that you include the header. Once you copy, click on the chart area, right click, and then paste. Copy and paste. Excel will add the data immediately. In this area, we have the blue bar for the starting salary, and we have the red bar for the incentives. And lastly, if you want to print this chart, all you need to do is to click on the chart. Hold control and then press letter P on your keyboard. Control P while selecting the chart will allow you to print the chart area only in the selection. All right. And that's it on how to implement Excel chart shortcuts in Microsoft Excel.